Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. I hope you're doing well. For this video, I will be showing you the process of one of these birds. These were meant to be stickers that I never really got around to do. And I did these around in October, I believe. And I really like how they came out, so I thought it would be a nice thing to show how I go through at least making them. I'm using a Saintic 16 and also Photoshop and I am trying to use a really nice texture brush to do these and drawing inspiration from Alphonse Mouche's work, especially when it comes to the line art. Art Nouveau is one of my biggest uh, influences and I try to implement little things from it in my artwork, especially line art. So at this point, I think you can kind of tell what I want to mean by Art Nouveau inspiration. Um, for me, something that is really notable in in Alphonse Mouche's work uh, and on his line art is the way he hatches to give us the illusion of form and of shadows. And I try to do that a lot in my work, especially in these birds. And for me, it's because I'm not really good at shading. and. For for me to be able to actually give you the impression of volume, line art is the best way to go about it. I'm putting a small example on screen, so I think you can tell that on the dress, the shape of the of the cloth is really well formed and it's mostly because of the lines and not the actual shading with colors, for example. So at this point the line art is practically done. I'm just going to compare this bird to the other one to make sure that the sizes are at least somewhat similar and then I can get on with coloring.
So when it comes to coloring, I have a very simple process. I select everything, and once everything is selected, I will add a general color, usually something very neutral, like a gray, or a brown or beige, beige, beige. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> and once I do get the tone that I like, I will either add some gradients or some highlights to help me figure out how to go on from there. Because I already planned out this drawing with a colored sketch, I know what colors I am looking for and what effects I want to apply. Uh, but that doesn't mean that that can change as I go along, as sometimes our ideas can change. <laughs> But yeah, for now, everything is simple. I'll just add flat colors. I add them individually in different layers so that I can change any time that I want to or that I can add clipping masks to shade and add effects individually without affecting the whole drawing. Throughout this coloring process, I will be still comparing this bird to the other ones, not just because of the size and the style, but also because of the colors. I want to make sure they all have a similar palette to each other and that the tones are not too different, so that you can still tell there's, they are from the same collection of drawings. Besides this screen, I have a second one that helps me look at them all together and make sure that I don't start deviating too much and especially when I'm at the end of coloring, I like to apply some effects, some layer effect, and that can sometimes go a little crazy, so I have to make sh sure they are still similar to each other. Thank you. 
So here I'm just looking for the right layer style so that I can start shading and I'll be doing that with either a multiply or one layer that adds something more interesting like a different tonal thing to it. <laughs> I'm not sure if that makes sense but yeah I'm just looking for different colors or the right dark shade for the drawing. Once I do have my color and my layer style, I will start erasing the parts that have light and leaving small areas of shading. I try to make things a little bit more subtle because as I said before, I'm not really good at shading. So I'll try to make things as simple as I can for myself. Once I have my shades done, I will start rendering some highlights and also detailing the shading a bit more. So for example, I added that little highlight around the bird. I'm going to add the little white speckles on the berries and then on the wood or on the bird, I'm trying to color pick some darker shades and try to make the, the shading a bit more detailed instead of it just looking airbrushed basically. Once that is done, I'm just going to do some adjustments and for that I'm just going to mess with the curves, a bit with the who and the saturation and I'm also going to keep the other bird beside it to make sure that again I don't go crazy. <laughs> and then I'll just add a bit of noise, a little bit of sharpness and that's it. So here's the final burp. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all later. Bye!